Hi, my name is Reginald T. Thornton. They call me Reggie. I was a Soul Train dancer from 1971 to 1991. I started with Don Cornelius in Chicago. We had a group called Reggie and the Flamettes, and we were kind of known around Chicago, and uh, Don Cornelius happened to hear about us or whatever, so he invited us to come over to the show. So we made an appearance on there every Tuesday or Wednesday, and so all of a sudden, he had the idea of making Soul Train a national show. So we shot the pot in, and he said he was gonna shop it here in California. And it took from the time for me to graduate from college to move to California. Because I was working at USC, and it was this Soul Train dancer passed by, and I said, hey man, you that guy on Soul Train. When are you guys taping again? And he told me when they were gonna tape or what have you. I got up, got in line, because there was this long line. Everybody was going in. After everybody had gone in, they closed the gate, and I was standing on the outside. So I was thinking, no, I came from Gary, and then I've got to be here on Soul Train. So after the gate closed, I climbed the fence, and I got over. I got into the studio, and I just saw all these beautiful people dancing. And so I got on the floor and started dancing. Chuck Johnson, he saw me, he said, hey, man, what are you doing here? I said, you know, I came from Chicago, you know, I came to dance. And he said, no, you're not supposed to be in here. So he made me sit down. So I sat down for a while. And then so the music was so enticing, I got up and, and started dancing again. So there was a young lady there, Sheila Lewis. She saw me dancing and she said, hey, this guy can dance. You need to let him dance. She convinced Chuck to let me on the floor to dance. So that's how I became kind of a, a regular soul train dancer. I think my look was funky. First of all, I, I used to wear a lot of rags and just torn up things, uh, things that basically I thought that stood out. I did a lot of shoulder stuff, a lot of kicking, I did a lot of athletic moves, a lot of soulfulness, a lot of Africanistic jungle type moves or whatever, original things, things I tried to create on my own. Some of my most memorable is when Don Cornelius used to have a uh, show when he used to let one particular artist have a whole hour. And one of my favorite artists was Miss Diana Ross. I thought Diana Ross was always a superstar. And he used to give us the opportunity to ask them questions. One of my biggest turn-ons, or this is something I've always wanted to do all my life, I've always wanted to kiss you on nationwide television. Is it possible <laughs> that I can get a kiss from you, Diana? <laughs> Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready, okay. Diana. Oh, yes. <laughs> Good. He holds real tight, too. <laughs> that was a memorable moment. I think being a Soul Train dancer was one of the most exciting times of my life. If I had the opportunity to do Soul Train again, yes, I would. Soul Train is part of history. Soul Train is part of things that impacted people's lives. Because I still meet people to this day to say, I used to watch you on Soul Train. Man, you, you really helped me through some things. So to me, knowing that I left an impression on people means a lot to me.